Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you another way to add ambassadors, and that is by using a home base. So what exactly is a home base? The home base is a landing page where you can explain everything about your ambassador program uh, to potential ambassadors, and those potential ambassadors can sign up. So let's try this out. So let's make our first home base and give it the very original name, home base. As you can see, we now arrive onto the home base editor. Now, the first page, you will see uh, you need to select a language. You can make your home base in different languages, for example, English and Dutch. Then ambassadors can choose one of these languages. But for the purpose of this video, let's just do it in English. If there's only one language, this language page will not be shown. So I'm not going to edit it. Let's click Next. And this is the introduction page. So let's begin by changing the picture here. Let's adjust it. That looks good. Uh, you can choose whether you want your ambassador logo or uh, your company logo here or not. Let's delete this quickly. Let's change this text color to what will people see? Bright orange, doesn't look pretty. Bright green. Well, let's just do it like this. Uh, here you have different FAQs. So you can edit the ones that already exist, or you can add a new one. And here you can add more information. And this is something that you can edit if you want to. So let's go to the next page. Tell us a bit more about yourself. This is the profile page of your home base. This means that when ambassadors get to this page, they will select a profile. These profiles are linked to your segments. We have employees and clients. So let's make a first profile employee with the description. I work at Special Caesar. We can upload an image for our profile. And we add the segment employees. And as you can see, we will have our first profile. Now let's make a client profile quickly. I'm a client of social seeders. Add the picture. And we attach the client segment. And then we can change this picture if we want to as well. We make it fit again. We delete this unless you want it there. We go next. This is the registration form. So this is basically what the ambassadors will see. There's not much for you to edit here except the title and the picture again. So let's do it one more time. Let's make this a bold white text. So as you can see, this step has uh, also the, the questions from the custom fields. I want to be a social seeder ambassador. And then this is the mail that the ambassadors will receive once I signed up. Once again, you can change the banner on top. Let's make it the first picture again. You can edit the mail if you want. I'm not going to do this here. And then you have, you know, a thank you page. Welcome aboard. And let's, for the last time, change a picture. Zoom in again. Edit the text. Uh, and then you can here add, for example, your Facebook page. And just copy the link, and then it'll uh, be a button that you can click on. And then next. And now we are done with the home base. We just add the source. So we just name this first source. Let's call it site social seeders. These are additional options. 
you can select, but for the normal home base, you can just leave this. And now the home base is created. So to see the home base, you just place this link or you copy and paste this link to embed it onto your website or social media. We can just click visit your home base and this is what it looks like. So here are the frequently asked questions. Yes, I want to become an ambassador. The ambassador selects a profile that fits to him or multiple profiles that fit to him. And then he fills in his or her personal information. In the next video, we will explain to you how we how you can create a campaign. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.